Before we dive in, let's take a quick look at the results. A is for alligator chomping all day. Chomp, chomp, chomp in a silly way. B is for bear with a big loud roar. Roar, 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 can you roar some more? C is for cat who says meow. Meow, 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 let's all bow wow. D is for dog wagging his tail. Woof, woof, woof on a happy trail. It's no secret that one of the most powerful categories to blow up on YouTube is the kids' cartoon niche. Just type in kids' music videos, and you'll see not just millions, but billions of views on simple nursery rhymes and children's songs. The best part? This niche never dies out, because parents everywhere want their kids to learn through fun and educational content. That means a constant flow of views, and even a single viral video can bring in thousands of dollars. There are countless channels already making huge earnings this way. And today, I'm going to show you the easiest method to create videos like these, let's get started. The first step is to come up with kids' song ideas and lyrics. If you don't have any ideas yet, don't worry. We can use ChatGPT for help. Simply open ChatGPT and type, I'm planning to run a kid's YouTube channel and need ideas for educational rhymes. Then hit generate. ChatGPT will provide multiple theme suggestions. Now, take one of those prompts from my Telegram channel. The link is in the description. In that prompt, replace the part that says insert your idea here with the topic you want to create a video about. For this tutorial, I'll use the counting friends idea and paste it in. Once you hit generate, ChatGPT will create a fun and catchy counting rhyme for kids. Copy the entire rhyme and we'll move on to step two, rhyme song generation. To create the rhyme song, go to the find share signify website. Don't worry, I've shared the link in the description. Once the dashboard opens, click the sign up button and register with your Gmail account. After signing up, you'll see several several features under AI song generation. Prompt to song lets you generate a song directly from your idea. Lyrics to song allows you to paste your own lyrics to turn them into a song. Instrumental, useful if you just want background music for your videos. For example, let's try the prompt to song option. I'll type in an idea like write a kid's rhyme about alphabets and hit generate. The tool will create the full song lyrics automatically. On the right hand side, you can choose the music style. You'll also get suggestions to make it easier. Below that, you can select an AI singer if you want, or keep the default option. You'll also see a title box where you can type any name you'd like for your song. Once everything is set, click Generate. Then, go to the History tab under the Library section, and you'll see that your audio generation is being processed. While the first song is generating, let's go back to the AI song generator and try the Lyrics to Song option. Paste the lyrics you copied earlier from ChatGPT. On the right side, set the music model to the newest version, type in a music style if you have have something in mind or leave it as is, and then give it a title. For this demo, I'll write rhymes as the title and hit generate. Now, head back to the history section and you'll notice that for each song type, it creates two versions. Let's check the one from prompt to song first. Red and sweet, B is for ball that bounces to your feet, C is for cat with a purse so loud. A is for apple, red and sweet. B is for ball that bounces to your feet. C is for cat with a purse so loud. D is for duck that swims in a cloud. You'll hear the vocal is super clear, playful, and cartoon-like, which is perfect for kids. Next, let's check the rhyme song we made with the lyrics to song option. Listening to the first version, it sounds really nice. Now the second one. One little frog jumps in the pond. Two little ducks go quack, quack, yawned. Three little kids. 
also good, but personally, I like the first one better. So I'll tap download to save it. Now let's try the last option, instrumental. This one is super helpful because instead of wasting time searching for copyright free background music, you can generate your own AI music that's completely copyright free. Just type in the kind of vibe you want. For example, I'll write light, bright, and cheerful, then hit generate. The prompt will be created automatically. And after that, simply click generate again to produce the music. Once it's ready, head to the history section and check it out. The track sounds really good and satisfying. Besides this, the website also offers other useful tools, like AI voice cloning, where you can clone any singer's voice. Under the More AI Tools section, you'll find features like Image to Music, AI Reverb Remover, AI Vocal Remover, and many more as you scroll down. As for pricing, the plans are quite affordable. Not too expensive, just reasonable. Once you're done with that, let's move on to the third step, generating visuals. For this, go back to ChatGPT and type, now I need a 3D animation prompt for each line, then hit generate. ChatGPT will provide visual prompts for every line of your rhyme. Next, open your browser and search for Google Studio AI. Once the dashboard loads, look to the left side and click on generate media, then choose the VO option. When the interface opens, set the number of results to one and pick the aspect ratio you prefer, 916 for shorts or 16 to nine for long videos. For this tutorial, I'll go with 16 to nine. You can also set the video duration, but I'll leave it at eight seconds. Now head back to ChatGPT, copy your first prompt, and paste it into the Describe Your Video box in Google Studio AI. Hit Generate, wait a few moments, and once the video is ready, click Play to preview it. If you're satisfied, click Download to save it. Repeat the same process for all the other prompts until you have all the visuals ready. Once your animations are complete, we can move on to the fourth step, editing. Open CapCut or any video editing tool you prefer and import all the clips you downloaded, along with the rhyme song you generated earlier. Drag the song to the timeline first and trim any unnecessary parts at the beginning. Next, add your clips one by one to the timeline, adjusting their lengths to match the flow of the song perfectly. Once everything is aligned, play it back and check the result. One little frog jumps in the If everything looks good, the final step is to export your project. Click Export, give your project a name of your choice, and select the best resolution and frame rate based on your device's capabilities. Once everything is set, click Export and your video will be ready to go. And that's how you can create content for a kid's YouTube channel. Go ahead and give it a try. It's going viral right now. Don't forget to use Signify. The link is in the description.